so I've just had a lovely chat with Bry from Ramblings and Art of Bry in West Norfolk. Um, in a special location at the campsite where he's, where he's at. And I've got to say that he is an absolute genuine guy. He's exactly the same in real life as he is in his videos. So it was lovely chatting to him. Hopefully we can meet up again at some point and just really enjoyed his company. It was great seeing him and hopefully I'll see him again soon. I may see him, may pop up again and see him while he's in Norfolk because he's in Norfolk now for another month. So no doubt I'll see him. But I thought on my way back round, I will take the coast road round and probably stop at a few places that I like and also stop at a few new places as well so at the moment i'm at heacham so let's go and have a look around on the south beach i thought it's nice while i'm down here do a video of me having a look around at a different beach things on the coast road it's a little bit longer going on the coast road back to where i'm staying on the north north but i thought it might be nice to have a look so Let's go and have a look at the beach. It is a cold January day. To try and stop some of the wind noise, because I've just found out that the lavalier mic that I bought just doesn't seem compatible with this Android phone. It doesn't work at all. It doesn't, when you connect it, it still uses the internal mic on the camera so to stop some of the wind noise I've put a micro a normal microphone um like muffler thing on it and gonna see if that does the job also using a new a new um selfie stick and I haven't got the Bluetooth bit on it because um, I've misplaced it at the moment. But when I find that, I'll use that. So just going to see how it, how this one's doing. Sorry for the joggy video. And I will try and sort that out in post. But I have got something to sort that out soon. Hopefully, I'm just waiting for one more bit to come. So because it's got a the the stabilizer I've got it's got a GoPro mount on it so I need these two bits to change it so that it's got a normal tripod mount so I can use the mount off off my selfie stick onto this stabilizer and I should be able to stabilize my video so it's gonna be so wobbly but hi let's have a look at this beach so this is Heacham South Beach in January time, it's a cold, a uh, little bit of a cloudy day, but it's still beautiful. It does look absolutely gorgeous behind me. So, on this video camera, see behind me, here's a lovely, here's a lovely cloudy day but with the sunlight slightly coming through it's hard to see it on this video it is it's very beautiful down this beach this area is at risk of tidal flooding it says on there but yeah it's not flooded at the moment it probably was last week in the storms I wouldn't be surprised if it was quite flooded here. But yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous here. The sea does go out quite away. This is part of the wash, which is on the west side of the Norfolk coast. Yeah, and it goes all the way down there. It's a nice long beach. I've never been to Heacham. So yeah, it's quite pretty, nice and fresh, beautiful, loads of birds, 
and there's a couple of places to sit. But yeah, I just thought we'd come and have a look. There's like a little ice cream shop and that. So yeah, a nice thing open in the summertime to get some ice creams from there. But at the moment, yeah, it's shut. So. But yeah, I bet this is an absolutely gorgeous place in the summer. And even this time of year, it's just nice place to come and just enjoy the scenery. Even when it's cold, there's still nice scenery about, you know. All you gotta do is just wrap up warm. I might put my coat on when I'm at the next one. Because it is quite chilly today. So but I like it being nice and fresh. It wakes you up a bit. So yep, so onwards and upwards around the coast towards the North Norfolk coast so I'm going to take the coast road and I will see you at the next one uh, I don't know where I'm going to stop I'm just going to bomb around to find some of that I fancy stopping and have a stop I might stop and have some sausage and chips somewhere or something like that treat myself I know it's not healthy but it's nice when you're next to the coast just to treat yourself every now and again so to some chips and sit there and enjoy it next to the the seaside so yeah see you at the next one bye peeps right well i thought i'd come and stop down at weybourn which on the north north on the north north coast on the coast road going around i was going to stop at a few other places um but some of them were blocked off due to the floods and that from the storm last week but yeah i thought i'd just stop at wayborn here it's a nice shingly beach so it's something different i believe i may have done part of one of my other um videos here before i can't remember exactly but yeah it's a nice one it's a penis way car park and there is a nice shingly beach which i'll go up behind me there is what looks like another traveler here looks like they may be staying full time it's one of those cool little um cool little roma homes looks quite cool so i'll go up to the field and have a look yeah, I was tempted to get myself one of those little room homes because they're not that much bigger than what I've got. But they do give you a fair amount of space, as far as, it as you can see there. Uh, still tempted, you never know. I'd, I'd probably be going for something more like a high top transit van, which is again even a little bit bigger. Uh, hopefully. The wind noise isn't too bad with this uh, normal microphone muffler on it uh, on, on, my, on my phone because the fee mic didn't work to connect it. It showed it was connected but I didn't seem to be able to get it to use it. So yes. here we are. This is Wave One Beach. There is see it there's a few people down the bottom fishing but yeah there is a few people around there's some people down there it looks like they've had to do some rework of the beach bank again with these stones these shingle stones which are like the sea defense here just a load of shingle stones and it's very flat on this part of North Norfolk coast so it's easy for it to all get flooded because there's not much of a, a cliff at all as you can see behind us this is about as high as the cliff goes which isn't very high at all the sea at the moment here is very very calm 
it's a little bit chilly out here and it starts to get a little bit dark as it's now about four o'clock in the afternoon but yeah it's nice here it's very lovely and peaceful I think I'm gonna go and get some chips either at Chroma or Munsley and sit by the seaside and munch on some some, some chips but yeah uh, again, I just want to say thank you very much for um, your hospitality today, Bright, and it was lovely to meet your dog, Bodie. He's an absolute joy. I absolutely love dogs anyway, but he's a fantastic little fella, bless him. So I can't wait to see him again. I was tempted to grab him while you aren't looking and run off with him, as he was so gorgeous, bless him. But yeah. Yeah, thank you very much for your hospitality, Bright. Hopefully I will see you again very soon. Yeah, this is, as you can see, that's where my little van is. That's where that Rome home van is. Um, I'm going to look at those again, just in case there's something I can use for a little while. Ah, they're like a little tiny mini motorhome. I've looked in them and some of them are really, really nice. And they are very, very small. But give me a lot more room than my my little Vauxhall combo van they're only a little bit higher you can actually sit up to them properly and they're more of a, a proper made motorhome rather than something self made but there is something nice about making your own self made home as well uh, we'll have to see but yeah it looks like it's done very nice it's got like Hippiest blanket curtains. So, yeah, it looks quite cool. Can you see that? So, yeah, I'm now going to go on and get myself some chips. But this is Wayburn in North Norfolk on the coast. Thank you very much, peeps, and see you in a while. Bye. Right, so here I am enjoying some chips as you can see sausage and chips on oh, Munsey Cliff this is just off Seaview Road there's a nice little park here it does say overnight parking uh, but I'm sure you could still park here uh, as somebody lately has just told me what is overnight parking you know if they come here and it's like one two o'clock in the morning it's not night time anymore really is it? it's morning so yeah so I think I may be tempted soon to try a bit of overnight parking here and I'll let you know how I go and I will try and put if I do and I'm managed to overnight park with no problems I will put a GPS coordinates here as well so please like subscribe and comment below Thank you very much for watching and until next time, goodbye.